hello you guys welcome to tonight's live sizing and styling guide i'm gonna hop it on while we're live say hey sorry we're extra late today i've had a few few complications i just put hairspray in my hair and it's kind of a mess say hi if you get on am i live in the right place on facebook there we go hi everybody welcome Hi, hi, hi. <sighs> Say hey. I am just going to go ahead and start getting this shared around. Sorry we're late. Had a, had a few last minute setbacks over here. So, and Christine just ran out of the room, so she'll be back in a minute. But say hi. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Everybody on the app, I see you hopping on. <laughs> Here's Christine. She's back. Oh, hi. <laughs> just flew in from the Caribbean. Yeah, just flew in right this moment from the Caribbean. <laughs> Lucky girl. <laughs> Made it. Made it. How is everybody? I missed you for a week. She got to enjoy everyone. the sun and the sea. The sun, sea, and some sand. My three favorite S's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh sorry i'm over here like banging things together how is the cruise they want to know hello i had a blast with my friends y'all we had a group of 46 that were traveling together that was a big group that is a big group and it was so much fun with the group, but I will tell you, I know that I'm going to get some shame for this, but I am an all-inclusive girl. After going on this, the cruise was fun. I like having a little more control over my vacation and how time is spent and when it's spent and where it's spent. Um, so we definitely had a great time, but I learned that I like being at all-inclusives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, after discussing, that's just yeah. our jam. I have not been on a cruise, so I have no experience to speak on when it comes to that. <laughs> she did. You know what was funny, Tammy, is she actually, as soon as that, like, loaded, when she was at the airport on the way back, oh my gosh, yes. she texted and she was like, oh my gosh, that picture. Because, you guys, she doesn't know I, or I mean, she knew, but she didn't know I was going to do that. But I superimposed myself into that picture. I took my picture two weeks before Rachel took hers. So the picture on the internet was a surprise to me. Yeah, so I wasn't really in that picture for real. Now you guys know I yeah. I can do she little sneaky things like that. editing skills, so I was <laughs> cracking up when I saw it. Because yeah. we were not together for those things. <laughs> Every time I have to take pictures, I end up doing, like, weird, goofy ones, like, high kicks and things. And then Rachel uses those, you know. <laughs> They're entertaining. All, I like entertainment. All the, all the glamour shots. <laughs> <laughs> the more you're high kicking. Yeah, I just save the good ones, like, of me and show them right. to them on my phone. But right. I don't, like, send them so yeah. nobody else has access to them. Yeah. So it's always <laughs> entertaining. Yeah. But that one, yes, of her laying on the ground, I uh -huh. superimposed myself into that. So when I took that, she wasn't, she wasn't even here. No, right? that I was early mine. one morning. And I had <sighs> sent it to her at home. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, that was you were tricked. I, was, I know. I, was laughing. I know the trick was really, you know, the joke was really on Christine yeah. for that one. Not all of you. <laughs> I missed you all, too. I tried to watch as much of the live as possible, but we were in Aruba that night. And she also didn't know they were in a different time oh zone. Oh, my goodness. I didn't. You guys, I got on. My phone said 830, and I kept getting on. I'm like, where are they? What's going on? I know we're normally late, but not like this late. <laughs> and more and more minutes were going by. And then an hour later, they started, and I was like... We went in that far <laughs> into the Atlantic that we're in a different time zone, the opposite direction. Yes, but... So we had to go running for the boat. <laughs> yeah, so she did end up seeing a few minutes of it, but not as much as she had anticipated until she realized that they were in a different time zone. But, well, hello, you guys. Welcome. Welcome to tonight's live sizing and styling guide. 
if you're a regular, you know that we're running late and that's normal. Um, <laughs> just not typically this yeah. late. Um, but we are here with new arrivals for you and we are excited for these. Um, if you're new, oh, how do I get that thumbs up? Oh, it didn't I think I, I I got a thumbs. How'd that Thank happen? You. Um, but anyways, this is a live sizing and styling guide. We are going to go over the fits fabrics and all the details of the new goodies that are releasing tonight. We have a heavy lineup of stuff. Um, again this week, I know last week we had a huge lineup as well. Um, but this week we have a big lineup too. So we have lots of new pretties here for you that we are going to get through. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to post those in the comments. Christine will respond to you there. If we miss anything, don't hesitate to send us a message or a text message to the business and we will gladly help you um, or get you answers that you have. Uh, if you'd like to see Christine try anything on, she uh, gladly will. There's a few things already planned that she's going to put on and I think she has a few pieces from last week too maybe that she might throw on um, for you guys as well since you haven't seen her in them. But any questions, let us know and we will help you. Um... <laughs> oh, Don, I envy you. I wish that I was in your state right now. <laughs> um, I have somewhat of an odd cold, like in the morning and in the evenings. We were just talking about this. I'm like, I'm glad it doesn't like happen all day, but it's so odd how colds are like heavy in the morning when you first wake up and then when you go to sleep at night. So you'll have to excuse me. I had like the worst dinner experience tonight where oh, I about goodness. died like six different times throughout trying to eat a salad. Um, Christine, it was yeah, Christine was like, I am trying to ignore all of the issues that you're having right now. I was trying to tell a story, and like a six minute story ended up being like 32 minutes because she was choking and crying and gagging and everything. It was quite miserable for both of us. I'm sorry you had to endure that. <laughs> I'm just going to keep talking and pretending this isn't happening, but you're really ruining it. <laughs> I know. I So anyways, if my voice is doing funky things or if I start having a coughing fit, Christine will come save me, right? Sure. Okay, thank you. Um, but all right, well, let's go ahead and get started because we have a lot to get through. Um, again, if you guys have questions, just let us know and we will answer the best we can. We have a whole lot of new clothes, some new shoes for you. Uh, no new earrings today, but we have a lot of fun ones to show you uh, with some of these great pieces. So, yeah. Yeah. Did you? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Ready as I'm too. ever going to be today. I don't know. what. I don't know what the holdup was. I don't know either. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's do this thing. All right, you guys. First up, I'm in the In an Instant Vintage Jean Jacket, which this one we had talked about was restocked in sizes small through large. We weren't able to get a full size run restock, but we do have 3X still available in this. And this is one I think we showed it last week on the live. Um, and this is just such a great little jean jacket. It's really nice and stretchy. You might have seen us talk about it before. You might have it because it is one that we keep restocking whenever we can. Um, but cute little kind of cropped length, slightly longer in the front, a little bit of heavier distressing on this but it's a really nice light wash and I love pairing these jean jackets with some solid color not usually denim for myself bottoms um but like leggings or some tan pants or all of our new magic pants are really cute with a jean jacket as a layer so these are perfect and it's layer season spring is here um so this is a good one I'm showing in my true size small I like this size because I don't typically wear it buttoned um but if I were to want to wear a buttoned or layered over heavier items then I would opt to size up one for a little bit more room and if you're new here I am a street size eight uh, I tend to wear a small on top and a um, medium on bottom or a 728 and Judy Blues for reference. So I am in the small here. I'm always in a small. If I'm not, I will make sure that you guys know that I'm not. I will make it very clear. Otherwise, small tops medium bottoms or seven Judy blues. Um, so love this piece, love this layer and we have some new tanks. So this one, like I said, true to size, or size up one if you're going to layer over heavier items. This is or this this is already available on the site if you guys snatched it up or if you want to add to cart, it's already there. 
Um, and then this new tank, what is this called? I know I named this one. I can't even remember. I'm coming. I'm coming. I forgot I was supposed to be wearing this already. That's okay. <laughs> Gone for one line. Don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, all right, so this is Loving This Life Tank. It's available in small through 3X and available in 10 colors. So this is the same airflow material of the Story of My Life top that released last week that everybody has gone bonkers about. It is such a great top, um, and it's such a nice weight. They're non-sheer, so you don't have to worry about being able to see through them, and they're just really going to be good to either wear by themselves or layer. Um, they're cute with just about any bottom. I was like, with short shorts, they're cute. With denim jeans, they're cute. They're cute with the magic pants. And then on right now, I have a pair of linen pants. We'll talk about them. They are also already available on the site. But they see, these are seriously perfect with everything. Layered under that denim jacket, under a blazer, under your favorite cardigans, anything. And they're that fantastic material. This is airflow, so it's lightweight. It has little bit of stretch to it, more like a give than a stretch, I would say. And it's 100% polyester. It has that little bit of like a crinkled texture to it. Almost like a muslin feel, but it's a little bit heavier. So cute little v-neck detail. Um, you have that one little like pleat. I know this has a specific name and I can't think of what it's called um, with this type of like little pleat in the front. And then that same little gathering in the back that we had in the story of my life tops that we released last week where it had that. So it gives you a little bit of extra material. This one is slightly longer in the back than in the front, not drastic, but then again, a slightly relaxed fit. The top last week that had the sleeves. Now that one had little side slits. This does not, but I'd say fit-wise, it's very similar. So if you got that top from last week and you know what size you'd go with in that, I would say stick with the same size in this one. So I'm a street size eight shown in the small top and I have a relaxed and roomy fit. Um, and there is some room in the bust area. So if you flex between two sizes, I'd say you go with the smaller size. I don't think everybody needs to size down in this unless you like a more fitted look, but it's really cute to do a little front tuck with as well. Uh, if you like to cinch that up or if you're wearing shorts and you don't want to have too long of a top with it. Oh, however, this isn't extremely long. Um, it kind of hits me bottom of my hip bone ish. <coughs> yes. Um, so really cute piece. And then the pants that I have on are the made for us. Linen pants. The made for us linen pants. Now these are already available on our site and they are available in small through 2X or 3X? 3. 3X. Three so these have an elastic waistband, a little drawstring on them. And I always like, if you don't like the drawstrings hanging, you know, you can tuck them in and not see them if you have a top that's a little bit longer. So that is an option. Um, uh, for reference, I'm 5'7", so these are hitting me just above my ankle. So a cute little pant. Um, and then a relaxed fit in the ankle, but not like really wide. So so they're extremely comfortable, have little side pockets here, and I am shown in the medium, which is my true size and bottoms, and I love this size. Um, it, they do hit me a little bit higher than my belly button, not up to my natural waistline, but slightly higher where they sit. But these are great. These are a nice pant for spring and summertime and just so cute. Uh, I threw on this fun leopard petal in that silver metallic. Kind of pulls out whatever color top you have on that you can see that iridescent in there. And then we have a new shoe. What are these called? The Davina? Davina. The Davina. And these are adorable. They have the espadrille bottom on them, uh, which we don't have many. Or I don't know that we've had any um, that have had that espadrille bottom, which we just love. And then, of course, that super cushy sole that we adore. Uh, and then the fun braided detail there with the little silver uh, rhinestones on them. So super cute, comfortable, and run true to size. You all know if you've tried any of our wedges before, that insole is so cushy. And with the, like, with this little platform that you get, it doesn't even feel like you're wearing a wedge. So we've had so many people who have gotten these and then said, it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing heels. So that is such a great detail, but these are adorable. I'm an eight and a half for nine, and I wear the eight and a half in these, the same size that I do in all of our other wedges. So they're available in silver. And then is this one just called black? I think this one's black. Yes. So then the same shoe we are also releasing tonight, but in the black, which has 
a black slash kind of gunmetal, I'd say color rhinestone on it. So that's a really cute option too. They are so cute. Um, and I love both of these. I love that even though they're the same, they're very different uh, with that black and the silver. So I just find that I would pair them with totally different things. Uh, and mm -hmm. they're, you know, where it's not like some shoes you're like, well, I already have the black. Do I want the brown too? But these I feel like you would pair with such different items. Yeah. So they are so stinking cute um, and true to size and releasing today. So make sure to snatch those up. And while I'm on this topic, Christine's going to come out in this top as well. But this is available in 10 colors. So all of the colors that we released last week in the story of my life top, this tank is now available again. And as just a reminder, because I already forgot, this is called the Loving This Life Tank. Loving This Life Tank. It does come in XL and 1X. I'm going to give you a little scan here of the colors, and then Christine's going to come out and show you her fit in this. So all of these gorgeous colors um, that released last week, like I said, and the other one, I love that there are some basics too that are really great for layering with any color blazer, that gorgeous Kelly green, great for St. Patty's Day. Um, and then they're just so vibrant and fun. Of course, black, can't go wrong with black. Uh, and this magenta is beautiful. They are all just such good colors. The Where orange taupe one. Will you flash the taupe one against the rest? So you guys, I literally pulled this out of a package four minutes ago. I think oh, this yeah. is so impressive. The rest of them were steamed. Do you see any wrinkles? There's yeah. Just some slight folding. Like these are impeccable for travel and packing. They're so yeah. lightweight. We talked about that last week because Jillian's weren't steamed when she put them on. And that was the same thing slightest little wrinkles from again being folded and like airtight packages and that kind of thing so these are great for travel even if you like roll them get them in a package hang them up at your hotel for a day I think you're gonna find that they are just about wrinkle free and most hotels now have a little steamer um, or an iron that you could just like even just like air touch up kind of to it and they are fantastic so these are awesome um okay Christine I'm ready you're up they're so good. And coming from somebody who, you guys, at the airport on the way back, between my husband and our two best friends, the one girl traveling in the group was throwing <laughs> stuff in all of their suitcases. <laughs> Buy the lightweight tops. Hi. Thanks for having me back. If you're new here, I am Christine. Um, I was only gone for one week, not like a, an eternity. <laughs> Make it sound like it was back. a lot longer, but thanks for having it me back. It felt like forever. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Rachel and I don't go more than like 15 hours without talking to each other. No, so never. being on a boat where I couldn't talk to her for like five days is probably the longest we've gone without speaking in like seven years <laughs> very true like seven years that's probably the longest so if you're new here i am christine i was a size 14 16 <laughs> after a week of vacation i will just solidly and confidently say i am a 16 um and i wear a 1x or an extra large in tops, depending on the brand. So we'll cover a couple of things top to bottom. I was asked to put the jean jacket on that Rachel had on me in an instant denim blue. I don't have that one back here, but this or is... Or that size in that one. Or that size in that one. But this is um, one of the ones that released last week out of the colored denim lineup. There was this great camel color, the brick, and an olive. These fit the same. They're the same brand. They're the same cut. They're the same fabric content stretch so I'm in my true size in this I'm in the 1x no I can button it I will show you just for reference because like I said I wasn't here I didn't get to try any of these on last week and since the in an instant was just shown you might want to see it I can button it I can button it comfortably but if you're ever going to layer this over anything thick over a sweater over a sweatshirt and want to be able to button it size up one. If I were going to wear this over some of my thicker amper sands through spring and through fall, I would size up to the 2X to be able to layer it over thick things. If I just plan on wearing it open and not over anything overly thick, then staying in my true size, the 1X is perfect. Um, I have it on this is my pair, but we still have them. Judy Blue flare jeans. I'm 5'8". These are a 32-inch inseam. They're perfect. 
And then look at these cute little Stellas that I have. They just match. Oh, that's so cute. So perfectly. This is the bottom half was my outfit from the day. You still have the Stellas? <laughs> we still have the Stellas. <laughs> Thank you. And then the tank. So available small through 3X with an extra large and a 1X. I am in the extra large. Just like the story of my life blouse, I just stayed in the extra large. So extra large is going to best fit. 1416. <laughs> 1X is going to be a 1618. I'm still hovering on like believing I'm close to that 14, but whatever. Um, I'm in my true size. Super comfy. Plenty of room underneath the arm as well. I know sometimes we worry about them rubbing or cutting up high, but I'm very comfortable in this size. So this is the one that I would stay in. I love that there are some muted colors and some bright colors. Such fun for spring coming up and the different ways that you can layer and pair them with dress pants, jeans, shorts, everything that Rachel said. I just missed you guys, so I'm not leaving the camera. <laughs> okay, but I'm really leaving the camera. <laughs> you could have stayed. Well... Why don't we, next week, why don't we, like, reverse rules? You can be out here the whole reverse, time. Reverse. <laughs> reverse, reverse. Yeah, you can just be out here the whole time, and then I'll sit back there. I, yeah, I will. <laughs> and Tammy's right. I did really enjoy getting She's going to be so happy when next week I'm like, swimsuits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to get right back out of that size 16 before that. <laughs> you guys, I do have to tell you a little secret that I have not talked about yet. That last year when we released swimsuits and then, you know, they didn't have quite the bum coverage that we would have preferred. And well, this year we have a fantastic swimsuit line and I'm so excited for it. So very soon you will see them. <laughs> very Better soon. bum coverage. Better bum coverage. More tankinis. Y'all are going to be happy. I mean, at least I hope you are. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to release that, the I live like that Christine's everything. out here the whole time. Yeah. They yeah. are adorable. Okay. Um, yeah, Tush has coverage in these. I tried a few of the Z bottoms on, and I was happy that my bum was covered. <laughs> um, okay, next up, you guys, I am in the Sleeping in the Jungle tunic. This is available in sizes small through 3X. Comes in XL and 1X. And this is so stinking cute. It is this light gray, black, and white animal print. Um, and then I love the whole top here. Like, this whole area is smocked. Uh, not the sleeves, obviously, but this whole area across the bust. So it has that smocking to it. So it does have nice stretch. Not enough that I'd say size down drastically. If you're a busty, you're going to want to stay true to size because it is a tighter smocking, if that makes sense. Like it's comfortable, but it definitely feels nice and fitted. Like it, it feels really nice. And then has this cute tiered, not sure if you guys can see because it's the print just continues, um, but has one little ruffle down here that's maybe about four or five inches uh, at the bottom. So you have just that little tier and then the ruffle. Love this. If you, if you love tunic style tops, you're going to love this. Really cute. Again, if you like to do leggings, this would be one. It gives you full bum coverage um, and is just really cute, but I love it with denim as well. Little bracelet cuff here, so baby fine elastic uh, to give you a nice sleeve. And then that elastic continues all the way around the neckline. So this is one that I did do on and off the shoulders um, in photos because you can wear it either way, whichever your preference is. Um, I just pull my bra straps down while I'm showing it on a live. Um, but you can wear this one either way, which I think is so cute. And this is such a cute one too. If you have country concerts coming up, I love these smocked little baby doll tops because I feel like they're such a cute country option with a fun pair of skinny jeans and some boots. Um, but I just love this. So true to size is my recommendation. Material on this one is... Oh, 100% polyester. So it doesn't have stretch to it. But again, remember that smocked area here does because of it being smocked. So true to size, even though there's roominess here in the bottom, stay true to size. I'm shown in the small and I do absolutely love the fit of this. It's very comfortable and so cute. And I love how neutral it is. I threw on our Dalmatian earrings, which of course aren't leopard print, but I think they're a cute combo. I know, with this I one. Even, I noticed that you put them on, but I just love the mix of it. Yeah, I you think that. Think about it. No, I think that they're really cute. So we have the Dalmatian print in several different earring shapes um, and sizes, but I really like that with it because getting one, a 
earring print that's going to match this identically you're not going to find so you either kind of have to pick white gray or black um or you could do like a pop of pink you know a hot pink earring or something with this or i love i do love this dalmatian one with it i think that it's a really cute way to pair it um and then i have a new pair of, of shoes on we're trying to like what's the name of these i haven't been here normally i remember amara. the names the amara these are the amara so like our Silmar Liberty Isabella, <laughs> there's the list goes on wedges. We have this newbie uh, that is identical. However, it is new this season and it has this a really cute little bit of a metallic background and then that kind of velvety to the touch animal print detail. I think it's perfect with this whole outfit, having that little bit of animal print on there, but nothing crazy. So it is black on black, but you get that little bit of metallic there underneath. It's not sparkles. It's not glitter. It's just more that it has like a sheen to it almost, I would say. So it's not like it's so eye-catching that your shoes are, you know, I don't know how to, like, they're, they're just not like, if you don't do glitter, I don't think that you would be turned off by this because they're not really glittery. It's more of just a little bit of a sheen in there. Um, so true to size, same details as the espadrille that we talked about. However, this one has a cork, bo cork bottom and then that cushy sole for your foot. They're fantastic. Run true to size. I'm an eight and a half or nine. I do the eight and a half in these and they are so comfy. Velcro closure here. So it is adjustable. If you need a little bit more length, you can just adjust where you Velcro that at. So that's nice too. Um, but yeah, true to size on these and we are just loving them. So those are super cute. And then what jeans do I have on? Oh, let me get you that comment. I had it all pulled up ready to go. Um, I see your question. Do these fit like corkies? Because yes, these are very G. So corkies don't typically come in half sizes. Very G does come in half sizes. So that's where it's hard to compare the two. Um, because if you're an eight and a half typically in a cork you have to go with a nine you know that tends to be rule of thumb and it, i mean i could be wrong because it's been a bit since we have bought corky shoes but from everything that i've seen i usually see whole sizes only what i the last time i looked which i didn't feel like was that long ago i have not seen that they have come in half, half sizes. sizes yeah. yeah. So that would be the difference is if you're typically a half size person. Um, but in a corky, I size up to the nine. So I'm an eight and a half or a nine. I would, I go with the nine. You would probably be safe sticking with a nine, you know, going to, with your normal corky size without it, you know, seeming like it was drastically different because they're just skipping that half size entirely. So, um, where we have the half sizes. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah, so, I'm on a site right now, and their brand new, like their newest style launch is still just whole size. Yeah, so like I'm always a nine and corky, so if I did a nine and very G, I'd pr pretty much be okay, but there are some that I can go down that half size because I'm typically technically an eight and a half, you know, in shoe sizes. So, um, but yeah, I would say if they, they're comparable, if that makes sense. If you have more questions, just let us know or always shoot us a message and we can help. But, um, okay. Should we talk about your jeans? No, but I'll put this other shirt on. Oh, okay. Well, All right. I forgot <laughs> that I said, what jeans am I in? And then I went on a little rant about shoes. So, <laughs> sorry. That's okay. Are you doing the short sleeve first, the tank one? Uh, yes. Oh my gosh. We're all over the place. We don't even know. Did you put the long sleeve comment? Do we even know? Okay. No, I haven't Where done anything yet. What's happening? Help me. Help me. Okay. Let's talk about these jeans then real quick. Or did you not put my comment on? Okay, we'll talk about the jeans. Um, so I am in the Judy Blue Hand Sand Destroyed Boot Cut Jeans. These have a 9.75 inch rise and a 32 and a half inch inseam. So again, for reference, I'm 5'7". Um, actually, Jake measured me like two days ago. and He says I'm 5'6". <laughs> he measured me because we were trying to guess Luke's height and um he said I'm 5'7 at the top of my ponytail I had my hair in one of those little he's like you're 5'7 at the top of your ponytail and I was like I'm shrinking no so I mean that wasn't like doctor didn't tell me that but Jake told me with a tape measure that I'm only 5'6 um but 
So I'm 5'7", for reference, we're going to stick with that because that's just my standard until I really learn otherwise. So 32 and a half inch inseam. These are really great for me wearing a wedge. Um, they aren't dragging on the ground. I have several inches before they would be. But even if you are on the shorter side, you would still have plenty of room to be able to um, you know, wear these and not have them drag if you're wearing a little wedge shoe. But I love these darker wash, heavier distressing, and just such a cute one. And again, 9.25, or I'm sorry, 9.75 inch rise. These would be considered about a mid rise. They're hitting me mid belly button. That's what mid rise usually mid to top of the belly button um, with Judy Blue. But I'm in my true size 728 and they fit fantastic and I absolutely love them. And they're just so good. I have that little bit of room in them. Like I'm used to with Judy Blues and I like them a lot. So true to size in these. Um, okay. Yes, this top, Angie, I know this one is so good. This is the it, yeah. Just a Flirt Lace Detail already. Tank. <laughs> Just a flirt lace detail tank available in small through 3X. This is available in two colors. Christine's going to come out in the other one. Some of you, like Angie, says I have this top already in the long sleeve, and I love it. This is one that I think we have brought back maybe three or four, three or four different years because I am constantly getting requests for it. So even when we sell out all the sizes and months go by that it's kind of unspoken, then all of a sudden I start getting messages. Are you going to get this top again? When will this restock and all that? So as long as we can keep getting it, we'll keep getting it. Um, but this is a really cute one. We have not covered it alive in quite some time. So I figured we better talk about this one, even though it's this might actually, I, this one might've been totally sold out and off the site. So while it's a restock, it's still considered new, new because it wasn't on the site before. So available in two colors, sizes small through 3X. Um, and let's go over the details of this. So this is a little bit longer. Again, a cute one that you can wear with leggings because it gives full coverage. Love the idea of wearing this with like the leather leggings. Um, would be really cute. Nice little sassy combo. Uh, curved hemline on this and A-line. So it does have a roomier fit in the body. The bottom material here is 95% uh, rayon, 5% spandex. It's a little bit more of uh, like a uh, jersey net material. Jersey net? That's not what I usually... A little bit more like a like t jersey net. Jersey net, um, I think would be right. It's stretchy. Um, I'm just like drawing a blank. But solid black, non-sheer throughout the body. And just so stinking cute. So relax. Now again, I'm a size eight shown in the small. I do have roominess here, but one thing is the sleeve has this cute little embellishment detail here around the edge. Um, and there is not stretch here. So this is the only area that I would say if you're considering sizing down, which we have had people size down, this is one thing to keep in mind. Maybe under the arms doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother me where it is right now, but that would be one thing that if you're going down a size and size and you have a little bit broader or fuller shoulders, that that's going to pull that and make that uncomfortable, I think, under your arms. So flowy fit. And then this top portion is semi-sheer. So it's like a um, mesh that then has that velvety leopard print on it, which really makes these shoes like the perfect combo as well. They're fabulous. If you They're already fabulous. have the shirt, you need the shoes. Yeah, if you have the shirt, you need the shoes. So, and this one too, if you aren't wearing, you know, leggings or the full leather leggings, a cute little front tuck is really fun with this. Um, and it has, I love that it's not quite a tank. I mean, we, I think we call it a tank, but it has that little bit of like cap shoulder coverage too. So it's just a really good one. And again, one that we have just sold over and over and over again, and people just absolutely love this, um, this style. It's really cute. I just have a nude bra under here. So while you can ever so slightly see it, it's not standing out or anything. So I wear a regular bra and don't worry about, you know, that you can see it just a wee bit. Probably wouldn't wear black under it because I think that would stand out. But nude just kind of blends in for the most part. So, okay, Christine's going to come out here in this one, too. I am. <laughs> now I have to get both, she says. I love this one. I don't know why I've never because ever... Because it sells out. It. <laughs> That's why. Because it sells out. So... Available in the black version that Rachel had or the ivory version that I have on. And just like Rachel, I have a nude bra underneath. It 
barely is visible through there. And mine is probably almost more borderline cream than nude. So that's probably why you can even see a little bit of it. So if you really do wear a truly nude bra, you don't have to worry about any straps showing. I am in my true size. I am in the 1X. I love the fit of this. When we've had this previously, some have opted to size down one because of the flowiness in the body. Now, while you can, I will caution, because unlike the previous tank that I had on, these armholes start to get a little bit tighter when you size down. This one's comfortable on me, but I remember trying the large on in previous years and having it really cut close here. And then you kind of pull the mesh a little bit. I mean, we've all worn a shirt that we're trying to pull out of different places. So for me, I like to stay in my 1X because it really does have a great drape and you can do a little pocket tuck. You can do a front tuck if you want to cinch it in just ever so slightly. But to have that comfort under the arm, I have never opted to size down one. I stay in the 1X and I love the fit of this. This is also true for the long sleeve, which you'll see, but so great. And those shoes that Rachel has on are perfect with this one as well, with that black on black yeah, animal so print and yeah. with the ivory in here. Just fabulous. These are so good. Save me one in any color. <laughs> okay, so this is the Just a Flirt Lace Detail Long Sleeve Top. Is that right? I'm yes. like guessing it what the name is um, because it's the same name. Just ever so slightly different. Okay, so this one, same details, but long sleeve. And again, you keep that meshy detail uh, all the way throughout the sleeve. So in this one, yeah, I feel like, again, you ever so slightly maybe see my bra, but it gets hidden in there pretty well. And I think the neckline on this one is a little wider. Do you think so? I'm trying to look at yours, but your hair is covering it. Or is it about, no, it's the, I same. Think it's the same. I think it's the same. Um, so same details on fit though. That curved hemline, longer line. So this one too, you can get away with wearing with a legging um, or a leather legging, which I really think would be such a cute, fun, sassy outfit and so comfortable. Like what a comfortable top with it. Um, so true to size in this one with the option of sizing down. Now this doesn't have that detail that goes underneath the arm. So I feel like it's a little bit of a, roomier fit right there only because of that because it doesn't have that lace it has that same jersey knit type of material all the way around um so this might be more where we were finding that people are opting to size down because of that i just know like the mesh has a little bit of stretch not a ton you don't want it to be super skin tight uh, christine's gonna come out here as well in this one so you guys can see it on her but overall same details I personally, I love the small in both. I think it's really cute um, and just a really good go-to top. So like I said, we've had, this has been one of our um, biggest sellers on it or in it, on it. One of, meh, meh. Meh. <laughs> Have a band-aid for that. <laughs> I'm going to put band-aids on meh. everything. Meh. Meh. Okay, Christine's going to come out here and show you this on her. Inzy chocolate. I love the chocolate. The chocolate the cho is brand new. The chocolate is brand new. It really, once you have it on, it really feels nude. Let me get my necklace out of the so way too. so you can just. That was the exact thing I thought. It's called chocolate, but it really feels like you have a nude top on. I love this. This yeah. is phenomenal. So yeah, same fit all the way through. There is a little more room here. Um, the only thing that I, I'm just trying to feel it out. This is the first time I put You're it in on. XL, right? I'm not in the 1X. You're in the XL. Oh, can you look at my tag? Can you look at my tag? I am the 1X. Yeah, I don't think this one has an XL. Oh, but the other one did? Oh, no, I'm sorry. No. Maybe I was thinking of, I was, th I'm sorry. I was thinking all the way back to Y'all gonna top. make me lose my mind. <laughs> Come back and I don't know what the clothes are sold in. I don't know what size is. I'm just trying to decide if I thought, I mean, again, we go back to flowy body, a little bit more room through here. You don't have to worry about the armhole, but do I think there's enough stretch 
because that's going to be the next question, right? Does the arm have stretch if I want to size down? And I'm going to say for me, the answer is a no. I don't want this so tight that it feels like my shirt, you know, like when it starts pulling up because like it's so tight here and it wants to find the smallest part of wherever it can. And so it <laughs> and shrugs in and, and then you're pulling them down. So for me, again, staying in the one X, because I think it looks very flattering. I think you get this great curve right through here that I don't feel like the bottom looks oversized. It just gives some really good flow. Look at that length on it too. Like perfect with the liquid glossies or just black leggings if that's more your style and glossies are not your style but enough length that you can wear it with dress pants black pants denim out to the bar glossies but you still get that really good shape right through here and the sleeves look fitted right they don't look loose where you think mm, you really should be down i can pull because there's some stretch to that fabric but I don't want it to get too tight. And then we always do the like, where are my shoulder seams? And they're sitting right on top of my shoulder where I don't feel like they're too far out. When I get to the large, they're gonna start creeping in. And that's when you start to notice your sleeve pulls up, your sleeve length gets a little bit shorter. So again, I'm gonna stay in the 1X. I love this, but I love how that chocolate really just looks nude on there. Yeah. Those are so cool. fantastic. I love that color when I put it on. Yeah. It's like, ooh. This is a good one. Anybody who's had one before, you're going to need this color too. You got to get them all. They're like Pokemon. You got to catch them all. Yeah, you got to get them all. them all. So fun. Love it. Love it. This is a winner. Oh, I was thinking that easel top would oh. be fun. Okay. Just as long as you remember. You remind me. I will indeed. All right, you guys. We have some cute new bodysuits um, that I know they're long sleeve, but I, I while we're still thinking spring, you know, what I say yesterday in our post, like in Michigan, as soon as spring hits, it's flip-flops and shorts, but until then, we're layer, layer, layer. Um, this is the perfect weight of a bodysuit long sleeve for springtime. And I just absolutely am loving all the details about it. Uh, you can, I'll get close so you can see. So it's kind of a ripped, not really a sweater material, but reads more sweater than I would say anything else, but it has a really great stretch to it. To be honest, when I saw the medium, I was like, me, I don't know that I'm gonna get that on. Um, but when, when, as soon as I did, I was like, oh yeah, like I still have plenty of room and stretch to this and it's very comfortable. If you guys have, I mean, we have released, re-released, restocked several jumpsuits that are perfect for springtime, that this would be the perfect long sleeve layer oh, yeah. for this time of year and into spring for yet yeah, another couple months. I mean, here, like we're wearing long sleeves till April, June. May, <laughs> June <laughs> sometimes. Yes, so this is really a good one. I love the sleeve length. And again, it's stretchy. So like super stretchy and comfortable. Um, and it comes in four colors. I'll show you the other ones, but we are going to style it with something else too so you can see it. So I'm in the black and I am in the medium. I know I said I wasn't sure I'd be able to put the medium on it. To be honest, I looked at the small today and I was like, I don't think so. And so right away we grabbed the medium for me, but I probably could have put the small on and done my normal size small, but I'm much, I think I'm more comfortable in the medium and it gives me a little bit more length. So I would say most people would probably be best opted to size up one for a little bit more room. The measurements are gonna be very misleading on these because of how stretchy they are. So that's I mean, can one you thing. you hold one in front of you? Just hold one well, up I put all of these body. on. We notice after you put them on, once they do look stretched more. Yeah, this looks more stretched than yeah. they did the when, before you measured really, them. I mean, you're going to see that I like, think like the small says that it's like the, a 25 inch bust. It looks tiny. Yeah, it looks tiny, but those are really hard to like, let's stretch it and then measure it um, to give accurate. So ever, all the measurements you see are unstretched and these are quite stretchy. So a Available in black, and then this pretty, is it khaki? Called nude. Called nude, um, but a really good neutral. I love this under a lot of things. Red, 
And then green or hunter deep green? Forest. Deep forest. Deep forest. Really so pretty. Close, though. Pretty shade. Deep forest. So these for releasing red, we unfortunately don't have curvy sizes. We're still trying to right. figure that out. Um, so just a heads up there. But these are fantastic, and I think y'all are going to love them. Like I said, we're going to show it to you styled another way as well. Um, but we'll get to that in just a bit. So I'm in the medium, which is typically what size I do in our bodysuits, generally. Except for ampersand, I do a 3X. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but... So do I. <laughs> I would prefer a 3X in them. Um, okay, so I'm in the new pant these new pants. These are the Judy Blue Tummy Control Flare Jeans. These are awesome. These are a 11.25 inch rise. So that's how high they're hitting me. These would be considered high rise. Um, ever so slightly below my natural waistline. And then a 33 and a half inch inseam. So again, for reference, I'm 5'7", wearing a little wedge here. These are raw edge. Again, we've talked about these before. Might seem long for you if you have a shorter inseam. However, they're raw edge with the intention that they can be cut to the length that you would like them. Whether you are brave enough and want to grab a pair of sharp scissors to cut them or take them to a seamstress to cut them, I can't imagine that would cost a whole lot. They would probably do it on the spot for you. Um, but these are intended to be cut to length. So that's why they are made longer and they are fantastic. Uh, brown is the color. I feel like they're really close to the espresso that we had in the wide leg crop. You know what I'm talking about? But those were camo. Maybe. Well, I feel like these are espresso almost was camo. like the brown brown. Oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe. Um, but they are fantastic. I'm in my normal 728. And again, tummy control. So they have that smoothie here. I have that room here, as well as I have a bodysuit tucked in here. Um, but I have that room. You know, stay true to size in these. They're, you guys are going to love them. And they're a flare, but they're not like a super flare. They're not really, really wide. We've had some super flares before. Um, but these are really fantastic. And I have a new shoe on, too. Another new shoe. What is this one called? The Emily. This is the Emily. If any of you saw Christine's pictures from the last couple of days, it's... she came back from vacation and was like, let me take a couple pictures. And then didn't know what shoes released, what shoes <laughs> hadn't released, and she's taking pictures of these. And I'm like, those aren't released yet. Um, so <laughs> these are the Emily. Uh, they are very much like the... Amara, Amara and the Liberty and all of the others. The Justice, the Vector, the, the Willa, the Bellevue. <laughs> yes, like all of those. So, little cork bottom, rubber sole, that cushy insole, and then has that really pretty embossed um, brown outer there. So, man-made vegan leather faux leather. Yeah, I was just going to say, you got to throw it all out there. Man-made, vegan, faux, plant-based leather. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, these are really cute. Again, same sizing. I'm an eight and a half or nine. Do the eight and a half in these very comfortably. They're so cute. Have that same uh, Velcro closure um, that the other pair that we showed you tonight have, and they're just so good. So, if you guys have any of those others, you are going to love these as well. Another great neutral, and they match these pants. Superbly. Perfect. Perfectly. Perfect. Okay. I must change. Them's perfect. They are perfect. You must change indeed. There is one street light out there flickering, and it's all I can stare at. You can see it from where you're sitting. I can see it from where I'm sitting. I walked to a restaurant <laughs> a block and a half away to get us the dinner that almost killed Rachel. <laughs> And when I was walking back, I could see that it was flickering. And I just thought, like, oh, they must be, like, light active, like, solar lights. And as soon as the sun goes down, it was right on a corner. And I thought, maybe it's, like, halfway in the sun, halfway not. And it doesn't know if it wants to be on or off. But now it's completely pitch black, and it's still flickering. And I can't stop staring at it. <clears throat> And there is an apartment right above it. So I'm sure by tomorrow, somebody will have called the city <laughs> to and have work. it fixed. Because that's got to be right below a bedroom door. <laughs> there is a light by the kids' school that I swear every mm. evening that I drive by, I'm like, they have not fixed that light. Like, I'm talking about a year that it <laughs> has been flashing. 
Oh, I can see the light in the reflection of that. Can you? Mirror. Yeah. In the reflection it like of the pulses mirror. every half second or so. <laughs> and I can't stop watching it. And I'm going to need to or I'm going to have a seizure in the middle of the live. <laughs> Don't do that, please. <laughs> Don't do that. Rachel almost died at dinner. I'm going to die now. You guys, I was so bummed at dinner. Because I was telling Christine when she, as soon as she brought up like the specific salad, I was like, yes, I was, I've been craving that. And then I was, I told her, I said, we were just talking about this salad this weekend. Like one of my girlfriends and her husband and I were talking about this specific salad and how fantastic it always is. And like to every detail, like how the celery is in it and how the veggies are in it and the chicken and all this stuff. Today we got it and it was totally different and it's a buffalo sauce on it. And there was, I opened it and Christine's face was like, and I said, my mouth is watering. I'm hungry, but I feel like it's watering from the spice that I it can was already. Like. So red. It was like a bag of flaming hot Cheetos. It was mm -hmm. the whole salad. And it almost seemed like there was hardly any lettuce in it. And it was just like the whole salad was hot sauce. I was dying, <laughs> which is really great when you like have a little bit of a cold you know, already. I cleared your sinuses right up. Well, then I like went into that coughing fit and all the things. I don't know why this light is doing this. All the things. All these things. <clears throat> Look at it. It's like just nat It's just changing on its own. Uh -huh. They did that to me the other day. Okay. Um, all right, you guys. I am, let's see, next up in the Make Me Happy Freyhem Color Jean Jacket and Olive, available in small through 3X. This is the one that Christine came in. You came out in the rust, didn't you? Oh, no, the... Um, the camel. The, that's not what it's called. It's called mocha. Even oh. It looks camel. Oh, sorry. Uh-huh. Um, so if you missed last week's live when these released, you saw Christine now in the 1X. Um, I'm shown here in the small, and it really is the same detail, same brand, same stretchiness and everything as that first one that I put on, where I'm in the small, I like the small, if I want to comfortably button this, I can button it, but if I want to comfortably button it and not have it like pulling, I size up one, or if I want to layer over sweatshirts, I size up one, but I loved this whole combo. Um, I have on some new Judy Blue joggers, uh, which I just loved these colors together, and then this fantastic new tee, so we'll go over all the details of these new pieces, but if you guys haven't scoped these out, they are selling fast, available in three colors, like we said, rust, olive, and mocha in this little jacket and they are so good these are i love them for layering in spring with the different color options so those are on the site and then um i'm in i'm like where am i where am i reading i'm in the fruit of the spirit graphic tea available in small three three x and i love this we have a really fun little series today of some graphic tees and sweatshirts for you guys and i love this one so of course the be the fruit this says on so all the fruits of the spirit um and i love that it shows you all the different fruits and then says christine might need to help me kindness patience goodness gentleness faithfulness joy peace self-control self-control and love and love and then it says galatians 5 verse 23 to 23 right galatians i'm reading galatians. up galatians 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 are shoes i like galatians galatians are people that wear galatians <laughs> <laughs> Galatians. 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 I would say if a Genesis success a little bit is number doing around. Yeah, I would say Galash Galatians. Galatians. Well, you also need to recite the New Testament, not be old. Oh. You lucky Matthew, Matthew Mark, Mark Luke. Right now, not <laughs> oh she yes, you're right. Our mom's at confirmation with the meal from eighth grade. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna get my confirmation taken away. Um, I know whenever I recite the 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 books of the Bible, I have to start all the way at the beginning. Seriously, you can't do that. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, First and Second Corinthians, Galatians. 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 He never said it. <laughs> Because when we were in catechism, we learned the books of the Bible to a wrap. Yeah. Maybe next week we'll do the whole thing for you. We should. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, so this is a really good one. Love that. Be the fruit. I mean, all the positive, good things that you can be. Um, so really cute. Love these little bit of muted tones on your fruits. And then I have some new Judy Blues on. Um, like I said, these are some new joggers. They are the Judy Blue Khaki Joggers. 12.5 inch rise, so definitely a high rise. These sit more up natural waistline. And then a 29 inch inseam cuffed. 32 inch inseam uncuffed. So you, they come cuffed without being tacked. So you can uncuff them if you'd like. Um, I'm in my true size 728 in these. Now these have a working drawstring on them. So while there is some room here, the drawstring helps bring them in. I would stay in the seven. I would not size down. I think that they're extremely comfortable. I mean, while I have stretch, some people are going to opt to go down because of this little bit of extra roominess. That would be up to you. I would only go down one size max. I would not size down more than one size because I do not have a drastic amount of difference here. They are stretchy, but it's not a crazy amount of difference. So I'm in the 728. This is personally, I would say my true size. They're joggers. They're meant to be a little bit more relaxed throughout the leg, but you can size flex if you'd like. And then I have on the basket clogging cream. This is already available on the site. And actually, I don't know that we have a ton of these left. It might be select sizes. Um, these have been selling a lot the last couple of weeks. Really cute for a spring. Um, run true to size. Again, I'm an eight and a half or nine. I do the eight and a half in these. If you frequently size up half size, I can do the nine in them as well. So you're safe to go up a half size without them being like sloppy on your foot. Uh, and this is adjustable. So you could tighten it up a little bit over the top if you need. But there are various select sizes very available. Select. And select quantities, even select. in those sizes that we do have. So what you want to that? Gets them now. If you want a pair. Um, but we do have the multi-color one. Maybe not in my size anymore. Uh, my favorite one. Go back and look. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Guess who didn't get them when she wanted them. Oh, any time that we've had them, I haven't been able to get them. Well, no, we do. We do? Mm -hmm. Where are they? I don't know. I haven't been here, remember? Oh, they're out here. Oh, oh, oh. We have so many shoes in so many different places. Tell Brittany I was just talking about her and she missed it. Who? Brittany said hi. She got on. I was just talking about her and the, the terrible salad that I had today. Oh, Brittany. Brittany, you I got missed it. Rachel got the uh, buffalo chicken salad. It was terrible. It was so bad. She cried her way through dinner. <laughs> Literally cried. You guys, I mean, she probably doesn't want me to tell you this but I was laughing at her and I was like you need to look at your napkin because she had been coughing so much she was wiping her lipstick off which led to her crying <laughs> so she was wiping her eye makeup off and her mascara and then like dabbing sweat from the temples <laughs> of her cheeks and forehead and so like all of that and I was like your napkin looks like a makeup massacre right now <laughs> it did it was real ugly it is all over the place yeah <sighs> okay okay all right next up I well let's talk about these joggers first because I just came out of okay. joggers. So that way we can talk about the wee bit of difference. Got this. Um, so the new joggers that I showed you, we also had a navy pair that is releasing today from Judy Blue. And these have an ever so slight difference to them. So, well, 1.25 inch rise difference it's saying. So these are... I guess sometimes that's so hard for me to tell because I'm like, they don't feel like they're a whole lot of a different place. Um, one point, so these are an 11.25 inch rise. I don't feel like they're higher. I don't feel, I mean, I, I don't feel like they're much lower. 11.25 inch rise and a 29 inch cuffed inseam and 32 uncuffed inseam. So same inseams, just a different rise. I don't notice it a whole lot. I would say I don't notice it a whole lot. I feel like they're the same. So again, in these, I'm in the 728. I have that same amount of room, 
I would say in the seven, but these also have that great stretch that the khaki had. So these are navy in color. They are definitely navy, not like a denim dark blue. They're denim, but they aren't just like a dark blue jean. They are garment dyed, so they are solid navy. Do they look black on the screen? Yeah, they look dark, but that could also be like, I have the brilliance on my phone all the way down. Ah. Uh, so yes, dark navy garment dyed. So they are not like the jeans where you see any type of lighter coloring or anything like that. No stone wash or whatever to them. And these also have your ties on them and that elastic waistband in there. So I would say if you want to size down, if you like your things more fitted, size down one only. So I would say if you are somebody who sizes down in boyfriend jeans, then you're going to be the group that wants to go that down. Wants, because you're in this Yes, thing. because there is roominess here. Right. And the reason being that like you don't want to wear them the way Judy Blue intended it. I mean, that's, that's what it boils down to. I wear my boyfriend jeans down one size. They no longer fit like a boyfriend jean then. They fit more like a fitted girlfriend jean. If I wore my true size, they'd be loose and baggy like a boyfriend jean. If I wore my true size and knees, they would be loose and fitted as Judy Blue intended this jogger to be. Yes. You can size down. They're just not going to be the fit that the designer intended. And so if you size down in boyfriend... I can 99% guarantee you're going to want these more fitted. Yeah. And you're yeah. going to size Because there is, one. I do have room here. So this is where a lot of people will say like, well, I don't want it saggy. You know, I don't want that extra here. This, you'll be somebody who will want to go down in that. Even though, like Christine said, this is what the designer intended them to be a relaxed fit jogger style. Um, but these as well are not tacked. The cuffs aren't, so you can uncuff them. And they're just fantastic. So now on to this top. Uh, this is the came along long sleeve button down. I think when I named this, I think I named this. I was like, that's going to be confusing when I go to read it. I need like a comma, came along, comma, long sleeve button down. Available in small through 3X. Christine just went to try this one on. So I am shown in the small in this, and this is a relaxed fit and roomy top. This is Easel, if you guys are familiar with that brand. Um, a lot of their things do run roomier. That just tends to be their style. Again, the style intended to be a relaxed and roomy fit, not intended that their size small fits a size 10 or 12. It's intended that a, a, it's roomy and relaxed. So I'm a street size eight shown in the small here. And this is roomy and flowy and like just the perfect weight for springtime. So I love this mixed material that you get. This is definitely more like a crepey muslin type material here for the collar and then the button detail. And this is actually a full button down, but it has the hidden buttons the rest of the way. It also has a little snack holes here in the side that you can't even see because this material is so light that it doesn't make it pucker or bunch or anything. Thing, um, because they really just get lost in there. Fabric content on the 65% cotton, 35% rayon. I'd say it has kind of the feel of like a, like a linen. So if you're wondering like, well, what does it feel like? More of like a linen feel to it. And then just this large print floral. I really feel like vacation boat beach vibes in this one. Um, but it is just really cute. Curved hemline, has little bitty side slits here and nice length in the back. And can you size down it? I know that's going to be the question. Drop shoulder here. So we'll see what Christine says too when she comes out. I have a little bit of roominess here in the sleeve because, again, it's intended to be slightly relaxed, but that definitely is not way oversized. Um, I have some room, but it's comfortable because the material doesn't have stretch. So in this one, I think if you're in between sizes, you can size down one, um, but I wouldn't go down any more than that and it is meant to be roomy so even going down a size you might lose an inch here it's still going to have that same you know full body on it but you'll get a nicer fit staying true to size in the shoulder and in the sleeve yeah. so you're, you're not going to notice a whole lot of difference and sometimes that's what we like see is that people opt to size down because they can or they'll get something and be like well it's way big i want to size down going down one size doesn't take out that much material in a lot of things um especially when i mean it's different when we're talking about fitted items but in these roomy and relaxed ones you don't visually see a whole lot of difference so we then that's when we're like it's better to stay true to size and have it really be the intended fit um and 
you know, where everything's supposed to lay, but it's a really cute one. Fabric content, I have Red Sue. It's 65% cotton, 35% rayon. Feels like a linen, a lightweight linen. It's nice and airy. And then I threw on, I think this is the Kaduna. Does that sound right? Yes. The Kaduna. This little yellow box sandal mm -hmm. is fantastic. Foam sole on it and so cute. Great neutral. And I just love that little bit of an iridescent, um, little bit of like glitter and sparkle, not glitter, but that sparkle you get on there on from those little gemstones. I took These those are really on cute. vacation last week. I think I wore them six days. Yeah. I mean, that's what, when Chris, before Christine went, she's like, which ones? And then she's like, I think those, I'm like, they're such a good neutral that they will go with just about everything. And then with that little bit of that iridescent, again, with that iridescent, you pick up a lot of the different colors of what you're wearing. Yeah. So. I mean, even like that, <laughs> the green amber sand dress that I posted a picture in, like they just dress it up. Yeah. They just make it feel so fun. Okay. I don't know the names of anything. Came along long sleeve button down. I mean, she really did do a number on that name, huh? Came along long sleeve button down. So I'm in my true size. I am in the 1X. And I've got that good flow that Rachel was talking about. But I feel like... This is the way, right? You're going to wear this to a resort. Yeah. You're going to wear this with flowy, smocked waist pants that we have. And you want that easy breezy look to it. Especially, this is one where I think you really need to feel and really get an understanding of the fabric to know why you wanted to fit this way. This style and this fabric were made to be this flowy boho look. And I honestly... I wouldn't size down. I would stay in my true size. So I can even, it's not tight, but when I go to put my arms forward to show you details, I can feel where that seam is. If I were to size down to the large, I can guarantee that that would be tight right here. And I wouldn't even be surprised if I busted a seam in this. You know, if I were to size down and then try to... <coughs> do any type of like, I don't know, you've, we've all picked up our purse off of the ground or bent over to put a shoe on and like, ooh, it got really tight. That was an <laughs> awkward move. Don't do it all day long, but you're still doing it at some point where like, I don't want to pull the seams out of my really pretty blouse just so that the tag that nobody else sees says large. So I'm for sure staying in my true size, which is the 1X, and that's the intended fit and the intended look. and what this material and even the pattern, I mean, the pattern says easy breezy, take me on vacation. And so, yeah, I'm in my true size. I'm in the one X. That's what I would stay in. And then I have the 14 W Judy blue joggers on. This isn't really doing it justice though, because I have them tied so I can pull them all I want. <laughs> and with them tied, it doesn't help show you. So I've got my normal Judy Blue stretch, but I really feel like even in these, I know I just said a lot of people who size down. Uh, I still, but that's roomy. On I mean, it's roomy, it's roomy, but this could also be that cruise weight that I haven't gotten rid of yet that makes me think like, huh, they're hugging a little bit right here. I've got the stretch, but there's still, when I let go that of that, yeah, it's fitted. So for me, this is going to be the first time that I'm going to say, I'm going to stay with my true size jogger. <laughs> I would stay in these 14s, but super comfy. I love this look. And then I went for a little neutral shoe, and I've got, is this the Amy? I think she's the Amy. Do you want to turn that box around and tell me? It's this oh, cute little, yeah, I brought the box in. It's this cute little. That yeah, is the Amy. Would have never guessed. <laughs> it's. I think called a light gray, but it's really like a light, taupey, creamy gray, if that makes sense. I mean, if I put it up against here, it really looks like it matches that taupe. But I do believe in real life they call it light gray. So it's got a zipper for easy on off, that fun laser cut pattern on top. And then there's some goring right there for stretch. But just a cute, comfy little wedge that I love because I feel like this can be dressed up 
or you know with a cute little summer dress or worn casually with shorts these are the type of shoes that i love for packing and traveling yeah because they're really a good one that yeah. you can dress up or they're dress gonna casual. go with so many things where i mean i would love to I should have been putting shoes on instead of sitting there throw <laughs> 15 pairs of shoes in my bag but Poor we all dreams. know that isn't gonna fit <laughs> Right. Yeah, coming from the girl who had to throw stuff in everybody else's bags three to get bags. home. Yep, three other bags to get home. Um, okay, this is another very awesome sweatshirt that's releasing today. I know it's going to be the right direction for you guys on the app, but not on Facebook. Um, this says on the front, I just love this. Uh, it says, Spirit Lead Me. And then on the sleeve it has that cute little note to self that we are seeing on a lot of sweatshirts now, that fun detail. It's a real trending thing. It says where my trust is without borders. So if you guys are familiar with this song, um, it's a fantastic song, by the way. If you aren't familiar with it, look it up. But I just absolutely love this message and I love the color. So I think this is considered sand is the color of this sweatshirt. It's a real just light, like khaki. That one? Yeah. No, I was just going to show oh, it. Okay. Um, because it's the same fit. Um, so sand, I believe is the color of this. So it's not really cream. It's definitely more on your like khaki tan side. And then these muted tones. So, and I love that there's the cross in the middle of the spirit lead me. Um, now I am showing in my true size small, so ever so slightly relaxed, uh, in this one. And I love the sleeves on it. They're like just really comfy. Uh, but in this one, I say stay true to size. Size up only if you like an oversized fit. This is Gildan and it is the heavy cotton or heavy blend, which I think is 100% cotton. I don't know if you have that pulled up. Oh, you know why I got this other one right here? That's the same that I was just saying. I can look it up. Can you tell me so that I can 50% cotton, 50% polyester. Um, so really cute. Love it. Just threw on these periwinkle gecko earrings to pull out that color, but you could really pick any, but I love this one, especially it's, I mean, it's cute even for Easter time too, with that coming up, but love the message on here. And I just love the mix of colors with that little sunshine on there. But again, it says spirit lead me where my trust is without borders. So beautiful message on it. I know a great song. And then we have this one, which really I feel like I should have just worn the entire life um, today. Same color, same fit, all that jazz on this one. So I'm not going to put this one on, but I know that a lot of people can relate to this saying. It says, it's fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Okay, Christine's like, I need that. And she, she does. Um, but I think that Jillian will say that she needs this one as well. Everybody here probably could relate to this. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm pretty sure when Christine's garage was burning down a few years ago, this is what she was saying on the fo we, phone. We were, Eve and I were watching our garage burn down as I was holding baby goat saying, it's fine. Everything is fine. So when we rebuilt our barn and named it Smoldering Acres, we have a pub inside and the pub's tagline on the signs <laughs> is it's fine everything's fine <laughs> yeah so i kind of feel like maybe you need this one this sweatshirt and then you need this one <laughs> they go hand in hand so maybe you wear this one on a really bad day to remind you and then the next day you're gonna be like it's fine Everything's fine. <laughs> but anyways, cute little saying on this. You might know somebody who this would be a good gift for as well because they use this line frequently. Um, but yeah, these are both releasing today. Same fit details on them. They are the same sweatshirt, same blend, all of that, same color even. That was all just by chance, um, but they are releasing today. So, okay. I'm going to change. She is I'm going like, oh, yes, I did talk about you found I'm like, what, if, what bottoms am I wearing? Do I talk about these? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. I already can't remember. That's all right. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm wearing that for the rest of the week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh, Linda, I'm sorry. We got lucky that we did not have any cars in it, but we had both of our original Harleys in our whole barn fire we had gotten the cars out 
And then I think the best thing, Ian had this. My like, car is not parked in it, were they? Uh, Ian's truck was, wasn't Ian's it? Ian's truck was in and he got his truck out. <laughs> Mine had to already be outside, but we had this junky old, like, 1989 snowmobile that was parked in the yard. Our fire happened in the middle of winter. And the cops were questioning Ian about, like, well, how did you decide what to get out? And he was like, dude, it's, like, February in Michigan. The snowmobile was already out. Like, I didn't go in there for that. <laughs> if I were going to go in there to get anything out, it would have been my brand new Harley or something better. So we did get lucky that vehicles were not in there because that turns into a pain. I mean, there's so many different insurance claims on that. It's not just like homeowners, it's vehicle and everything. And our friends woof. here, one of our baseball families, sadly, had a garage fire like a week and a half ago. No. Sad stuff when that those things happen. But we have to remember it is just stuff, right? It is just stuff, and that's what we all kept saying. It's just the stuff. Just Nobody stuff. got hurt. No animals died. It's just stuff. It's just stuff. Okay. Um this is so fun. Christine, I'm going to throw that on with it, too. I want to show it both ways. I didn't up. think about it. All right. So this is so fun. Um, I'm in the Stay Right Here Ribbed Seamless Body Suit in medium. This is the one that I showed you guys earlier in the other three colors, but I threw it on here in the nude to throw on with this fantastic vegan leather jumpsuit, which is so stinking fun. Uh, the bodysuit, if you missed us talking about it before, true to size, it is stretchy. Um, I'm in the medium, though, because I looked at the small and I was like, I don't think so. Uh, and medium is typically what I do in a bodysuit as a size 8. So I like the medium in this. This is a size that I would go with uh, because I have the stretch. It is fitted. It's intended to be. I don't see a need to go up a size, but, you know, up another size because of the stretchiness and again it's intended to be fitted but really nice sleeve like that these it's just so cute so this fun little bot or fun little as i say body suit uh jumpsuit is called the anything goes vegan leather jumpsuit and it's available in sizes small through 3x and i am shown in the small can you double check for yeah, me because i don't actually know i meant i looked mm -hmm. or i wanted to look when i was in it earlier oh Where's the tag? No, no. <laughs> I don't feel a tag anywhere. <laughs> we should be doing this on camera. It is sizeless. I feel like I am being searched. It is. She has not received a cavity search. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Let me go look at mine. Wait, it's way down here. Let me show you guys where the tag is. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You guys are wondering. You know, what I've been looking down here. <laughs> Here's the size down here by your by your ankle. By your ankle. By my... <laughs> this is a size small. Okay. All right, that was fun. Here's a small. <laughs> um, I wouldn't have thought to look at at my my ankle bracelet for that. But okay, so I am in the small and this is a relaxed and roomy fit. Um, and it does have, what did we decide that we were going to call this drop? A drop rise. This is a drop rise in it. So that's that low rise in this one, which is intended. So it has that roomier fit in there. Little pockets. Obviously, I keep burying my hands in them because I think it's so comfy. V-neck on this. It does have like the worst um <laughs> hanger straps ever in it so i would remove those promptly a cute little just a like traditional what do you call like an overall kind of back on yeah. it racer back almost not adjustable straps so just something to keep in mind but i threw this on with the karina no the no nimble no the other one Come. carlin Carlin, the Carlin here, and a little bit of a dressier, you know, dressed up look, but I'm going to show it to you styled another way as well, um, with the little metallic rose gold earrings that kind of match these shoes, 
to be able to wear it in a fun, like going out kind of way. But I'm going to show it to you styled another way as well. This is so cute. And I would say true to size. It has that relaxed fit, but that's intended. So don't size down in it because of the relaxed fit, um, because you want to keep that. That's the look of these. They are really, really popular and trending. I have seen these all over, like TikToks and Instagrams and all kinds of fun things. Um, with these style different ways. So I'm going to show this to you style in another really fun way that I just love. I'm so excited about this. Are you? I, I just love pieces that you can totally dress up or you can totally wear relaxed to different places. Yeah, it different is fun. Events. Because it looks so different. So give me just a second while I change. I feel like doing a little Superman change here in the phone booth like, <laughs> as fast as I can. Except she's not in a booth. I'm not in a booth. I'm just here out in the open. Go back out there with your glasses on. Okay. <laughs> I don't even think they're in here. Where are my glasses? <coughs> okay. Sorry. All right. So here is style with a little tee. I'm going to go over this tee in detail with another outfit, but I love this look. So the, the material on these is stretchy, so I'm able to like pull them up and kind of slouch them and make them where they are more of a, like not capri length, but cropped looking length. Like a jogger though. It feels They're like, like a, a jogger, jogger yeah, because they can be cinched up. I threw on the, what is this one, Christine? The BB Low. The BB white. Low in white, but we have other cute sneakers too. Even the Gaston would be cute with this one. Um, or the... Driana would be another cute option with it. But so the BB low and then with a little short sleeve tee as a relaxed style. I wouldn't wear those earrings anymore. Apparently <laughs> I'm only wearing one of them. Here's the other one. Um, but I love this look too. I love it this like up. I love it like that little jogger style. So true size in this one. Adorable. Yes. And I'm going to change. I'm going to change. I'm gonna change. It's just so fun. I love it. Yeah, Thank you, Linda. Fun. I would wear my glasses on the live if you couldn't see all the lights reflecting in them. <laughs> no, if you would see my eyes, you would just see these big lights. Big blobs. She would be able to read comments though, but what fun would that be? Right. Yeah, I'd be able to read from a distance. <laughs> yeah, that's boring. That's boring. Why would we wanna do that? Okay. Yes, Maggie, I will get Rachel a comment up and then I will go put it on. Of course, this jumpsuit? I mean, gladly, I've been waiting for somebody to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Let's okay, let me help you put this on. Oh, I probably have to take my bow off. Huh. All right, here I am. Well, we have, of course, some fun little goodies from our friends over at Herman Hiss. They just got in a little lineup of some cute Brighton pieces that are perfect for spring with these fun pops of color. And Christina's like, no, save it and wear it with this top because of all these pops of color. So this fun beaded detail. So these are earrings, of course. I didn't put them on. Um, but these little hoops that have the fun beads and this adorable necklace with, again, that mix of beads and colors which makes it so you can wear with just about anything. And then as well, a fun little stretchy bracelet with all those mixed colors. It does have some little of the, I think it's, is it sterling silver? Did she tell you? Um, she can't hear me. I'm trying to see, but these confetti, that's what they're called. That's okay. You're fine. Um, the confetti is what I think this whole little line is. Confetti, stretch bracelet, confetti, Contempo confetti French wire earrings. They are so cute. And then this fun necklace that is adjustable. So you can adjust the length of it to accommodate a lot of different lengths for whatever you are wearing. But we love these options that have all the different colors because how fun that you can pair them with so many different things. I almost was going to put them on with that first top if I was going to put every color on because I'm like, these earrings go with every single one. 
right? In that first tank that we have. So you can pair this with so much. Um, and I do love that you guys, they aren't just randomized. If you see, they are identical. So sometimes we see random placements of, of, you know, beads like this. These are done really well where they are the same. So if you're somebody who likes that matching, this is a great set. And of course, Brighton puts in every detail to making them just perfect. So these are from our friends over at Herman Hiss. Dot net. They are local to us and are personal friends, and we love supporting their business, and they support us. Um, and they are the jewelry experts. So we say, if you guys have jewelry questions, ask them because they know all the details. We just love to show their goodies and how well they pair with so many of our clothing items. But they are so cute. Love this necklace. And some of you might have noticed that my necklace was changed. I saw a comment at the beginning mm -hmm. about my heart that it was different. We had this one here on a live a few weeks ago, and it sold from Herman Hiss, because I was like, no, I wanted to buy it. Uh, so they ordered me one in, and I know that she got more of them as well. So these should be available on the site, I do believe. It's the Uno de 50 yep. heart that is on the site too. What was that? I'll check right now. Yeah, so that was the one we had shown a few weeks ago, and I had sold out online. So if you guys missed it, you can snatch that up on their website. And again, if you have questions, ask them. They're real people. They're local. You're not going to be getting somebody in some other country or state or something that you aren't familiar with or can talk to. Um, so yeah. Oh, do you need help taking that off? Maybe just for the sake of time. I think I was close. I love that. Okay. I'm warm. They are helpful. They are. And they know, do know all the things. So if there's something that, you know, you're very specific about, they know all the details and can help you. Um... Okay, this top is called the All I See Is You Tunic Top, available in small through 3X. And this, again, roomier fit. This is another one that is easel. This was like the khaki and white button down. They were talking about that. They make a more oversized fit. That is their style intention. So I'm a street size eight shown here in the small, and this is roomy. It is meant to be. But such a cute piece with these patched prints. So this is actually printed, the stripe is, but then you have these mixed materials with the cute raw edge details. It just gives it a little bit of character with that fun patchwork print um, and then the stripe material. And this is such a solid, like well-made material. It feels really good. The stretch is nice. It's just fantastic. Easel does not disappoint and their quality is always great. 40, I'm sorry, this is 50% uh, polyester, 45% rayon, 5% spandex. Obviously drop shoulder fit, relaxed sleeve, three quarter length. Um, in this one, you certainly can size down, but with that, you will lose a little bit of length. So just keep that in mind if you do opt to size down. I even love the back. I love that the details go to the back yeah. too. So really cute, really comfy and easy. I have the Kaduna little sandal on again because it really goes with everything. So it could be one that I'm like, where with everything else I put on today? <laughs> um, and then new Judy Blue jeans here. These are so cute. I love these. I was a excited lot. when those came out of the box. Yes, these are fantastic. Uh, these are the Judy Blue Release Hem Cropped Wide Leg Jeans, 11 inch rise and 24 and a half inch inseam. So 11 inch rise, that's how high they're hitting. They're hitting me above my belly button. And these do not have the built-in tummy control, but man, are they ever comfy. They're like the softest denim, nice and stretchy, and then have that wide release hem. So we've seen release hem before where they're just like, half inch inch detail these have that really wide release hem so these are actually you guys like tacked up i think all the way uh, yeah all the way yeah. like this when they are like bleached or bleached acid washed or acid washed yeah so they're actually tacked all the way like this and then released which is what gives you this fun color variation throughout so these actually go through a fun process to get this way. Then they have that heavier frayed edge detail on them. No distressing though. No distressing, no holes. Oh, cute pockets too. Oh yeah, cute little pockets on the back. 
those are cute um but yeah no distressing no holes or anything like that just that frayed edge detail so these are really fun nice and stretchy these have a good stretch to them i'm in my normal 728 with that same amount of roominess I would stay in these. They are a great fit and they are really soft denim. If you like that soft denim, and I think part of that has to do with that acid wash or that process that they go through uh, to get them lighter and that release hem detail. They're so stinking cute. And I know, what did I say? 24 and a half inch and seam. These might be full length for some of you. <laughs> they might be. <laughs> But they are the perfect little crap length um, and such a fun one for spring. Snatch them up because I have a feeling they're going to go fast. Um, and they'll be one that we can't probably restock this year. Typically, styles like this are not restocked. Capris aren't restocked. You know, all those shorts aren't restockable. So any of these fun ones that aren't like your traditional skinny or like the boyfriends right. that are revolving aren't restockable. Yeah, they are. Anything goes. Anything goes in this leather jumpsuit. This feels so cool. This is so comfy. These are my favorite type of outfits. I love jumpers and rompers and wear them all the time. And having snack holes somewhere to put my hands uh -huh. when I oh, stand and talk to people. But I love it. So I'm in my normal size. I'm in the 1X. Super comfy, plenty of room. And we were even talking about different options based on your personal style. You know, if you're comfortable wearing a cute little bandeau underneath it and you're going to a summer bandeau. concert, bandeau, bandeau, <laughs> and you're going to a summer concert or, you know, you want it light and airy and roomy and flowy. I just love it. I just love it. So I'm in my true size. I'm in the 1X. You can see the length that I have on it, that if I want to wear it with a heel, uh, you know, a, like Rachel had on the Carlin, or if I want to wear it with something sparkly and really dress it up and make it a night out option. Or if I want to pull it up, I should have lotioned my legs, but fortunately you guys are far enough away you can't see that, that I can pull it off more like a jogger style. It's shocking when you see how wide the bottom is, you don't think that's going to work. I really didn't, I really felt like, nine's too wide. It's not going to happen. <laughs> and it's not even falling. It's working. <laughs> you could probably always cuff it under a little bit, too. Oh, if you needed a little bit more fitted. But, yeah. I mean, like, it's staying. Wouldn't that have been embarrassing if it hadn't stayed? <laughs> but it did. I mean, so, Idiot. like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, like, just really cute, and you don't have to worry about, we've all worn those pants where you want them to sit somewhere, and you're either pulling them up or pulling them down all day. Listen, you can all, like, cup them too. run up 72 flights of stairs, and these bad boys are staying <laughs> right up to the top of the Empire State Building, but so adorable, so comfy, lightweight. I'm in my true size 1X. That's the size that I would stay in. This is, like... I don't know. It's like wearing a t-shirt. It's just the comfiest. Like, you don't even notice. Did you get your brain earrings today? I did. I should go get them because they're pretty should. cute with this. Um, because I was, I meant to say that when we were talking about bright. And then I'll post a comment in, and then I'll run and grab them. That Herman has just brought in, you know, got this fun spring stuff. And then Christine snatched up a pair of bright earrings she's been waiting for. That go Jillian's go mom got because they were them. so cute. She'll have to go get them. Um, will you try on that other top too when you yes, come back? Yes, I will. Okay, next up, and I'm just going to quick throw that other sweatshirt on too. Next up, I am in this cute sweatshirt that says it's the deep water sweatshirt available in small through 3X. And on this one, it says, when you pass through deep waters, I will be with you telling you this note to self thing it's everywhere um but this is such a pretty message as well and then it says isaiah 43 verse 2 i should have like botched saying isaiah said that wrong for christine's sake she's not even in here so love these positive messages this is a light almost like a sea green or light teal i would say same fit detail slightly relaxed fit i'm showing in my true size small Size up just if you want an oversized fit. But I love these good, positive messages and reminders. We need these. I need. I need. I can't say we. I can't speak for everybody. 
I need these messages throughout the day um, as reminders. So <laughs> when I pass through deep waters, I will be with you. When you pass through deep waters. It's hard to read upside down, you guys. When you pass through deep waters, I will be with you. Isaiah 43, verse 2. So a great message for yourself or for others who maybe... These make really good gifts. I always feel like these positive. Oh, and yeah. I feel like a rock star in these. So Jillian's mom had been eyeing these earrings up. And she asked Jillian to run in there and grab them for her. And when Jillian got back, I was like, what? What do you have? I have to see them. So then I went to Herman Hiss a week later and I asked and they had sold out, but they just restocked them. So let me, I'm going to try and show them to you this way. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. The side is black and it's got this sweet scrolling detail all the way around it. I'm going to try and get close to both cameras. Do we know if those are on their site or not? I, you know, I didn't ask, but they just restocked. They didn't. Ask. Like just they did not just get this one pair for me they restocked them so you see that cute little scrolling detail and then the edge is rhinestone all the way around studded i feel like a rock star in them they're just the coolest but these are also brighton so brighton comes in a lot of different, different styles yeah. and you know, i remember when you know when we first heard about it when we were kids it was very traditional silver engraved lots of hearts lots of scrolling designs but now to see like what are you looking at i was just looking at the detail on them. i have a hair in my mouth they were on the, i have a hair in my mouth somewhere I find them on here somewhere um but to see like the colorful jewelry that we have tonight and then these black and silver earrings yeah, i just had to fun. have them when I tammy them when tammy got them i didn't either they i mean i didn't see them when she had originally seen them but i will just love them. I didn't see them when she got them either. So this oh. is the first time I've Oh, seen really? Them. Yeah. I love them. Yeah, those are really cute. They're so fun. So that black and silver. So, yeah, I had to feel yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, and you cool. guys, if, they, if you don't cool see them on them. the site, you can always shoot Herman Hiss a message mm -hmm. on Facebook, too. Yeah, what are these? Or we'll give you their cell phones. You can call them right now. <laughs> Just kidding. I wish they were around to hear me say that. Oh, Brighton does always have super unique think pieces. Those look I like love them. On their site, but I could be wrong and just not. Yeah, but if you call them, Christine knows because she personally called me to say the earrings you wanted are in, and then she checked me out for them today, so she knows exactly which pair. So if you call and say, "Hey, Christine," the other Christine. <laughs> That's okay. Comment for this, and then I will go put that other shirt on. Okay, so we have one more little positive sweatshirt um, for you guys that I just love. The color of this sweatshirt is called Cantaloupe, and it's so pretty. I don't even know that pictures or the camera is picking up the right color. It is just the prettiest shade of cantaloupe. Like, this is one that I want to wear when I have a tan on spring break. Um, and then the font color is called Watermelon, I think. And it says, never stop being a good person because of bad people. And then on the sleeve, it says, be a good person in that tone. That's how your sweatshirt's <laughs> talking to you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's the, this is the, that's the tone. When you guys wear this, I want you to read it and hear me say, be a good person. No, it's like me saying to my kids, be kind. That is like I say it to them. 50 times a day. That's all they're going to remember. What did your mom say to you? Love Jesus and be kind. <laughs> um, so slightly relaxed on this one. I'm showing in the small. True to size. This one's a little bit more fitted in the sleeve than the other one um, that I was in. It is a different brand, but otherwise unisex fit. So slightly relaxed. And I'd say stay true to size. Just go up if you'd like a roomier fit. Uh, but I just love it. I love that the O's are hearts and the periods are hearts. So all of these have that little heart cut out. But never stop being a good person because of bad people. Yes. Good message. Okay. Those, that ends it for our positive vibes and the happy okay, sweatshirts okay. and graphic tees for today. I needed these. I need all of them. Um, yes, Herman Hiss, Barbie. 
You can yeah. find it in. <laughs> yeah, done. You can find it in the Rachel Clark's Pick collection or by searching Uno de 50. Uno de. 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 Uno de. U N O D E. U N O D E. 50. 50. Fitty. Yeah. Fitty. I don't know the name of this Fitty. shirt. <laughs> Let me see if I can scroll up and find it. All I see is you tunic top. This was a couple of outfits ago um, that I was asked <laughs> to try on. The all I see is you tunic top. I am in my true size. I am in the 1X. Super comfy, very relaxed, casual. I just, this is fun. I love all of these prints and patterns and the patchwork. So sweet. If you guys weren't on to see Rachel try it on. So again, I'm in my true size. I am in the 1X. Ooh, I'm trying to get in both cameras. They seem different today. Do they seem different to you? You have to. No. No? no? <laughs> Yeah, I've gone too well, far. I mean, I, the live's almost done, and no, I feel like they've been the same, but... Well, like, this arm is barely even in this camera. Well, mate, did you touch it? No. You just scrolled. Did you move it when you scrolled the screen to find that comment? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> You're telepathically scrolled. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> anyway, um... Does that make you happier? That feels much better. Okay. Look at how teary-eyed I am. I was going to laugh so hard inside I started crying. I'm in my true size. I'm in the 1X. Now, it is roomy. It is a boxier fit. I wouldn't size down because I'm afraid that it would get too short. If I went to a large, it's going to like be up here and it's going to be boxy. And then it's going to look like I bought the right size, but I dried it. Oh. <laughs> Which I would do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the right size, which is the 1X, and not dry it, or at least follow whatever the Karen tag instructions are. So I would stay in the 1X just so that it doesn't get too short in the front, because we don't want it as short as wide, short and wide, deep and wide. We're just getting into all of the songs that we learned at church. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in the 1X. That's what I would stay to keep that front length. Otherwise, it's going to get too short on me. And, I mean, let's be honest. It is, an, it is a relaxed, boho, boxy fit. You're not going to lose so much width that going down a size matters. So keep your length and stay true to size. Okay? Galoshes. Okay. Or you're going to need galoshes. <laughs> you're going to need galoshes. <laughs> Galatians. Yeah, she'd be like, I know what you're doing tonight. We are studying yeah. up all night. All right, you guys. Um, this is that cute little tee that we each put on underneath that jumpsuit, uh, that faux leather one, vegan leather man-made leather mm -hmm. um, jumpsuit. So it comes in several colors. I will show them to you, but I wanted to show you how fantastic this is and what I love about it. So this is a cropped length. However, this is my natural waistline. So it's not all the way cropped up there, but it's definitely a shorter line. And you know what I struggled with when this style pants came out? We had those cute little crop tops that we were wearing, the twist front, which was great. But then other things, they felt so long, right? And it, we mm -hmm. ran into like, what shirt can I wear? Because I can't really tuck in and have it hide. So this was a really great option that I love the length of for a shorter length top. If you like a little bit of a cropped length, if you have a shorter torso, you're going to love these. But this is a really, really good one for those of us who are looking for sometimes a shorter tee that we don't have to worry about tucking, especially with some of these other styles. But it goes really well underneath the jumpsuits and several items. I paired these with all different items when I took photos of them. So that way you guys could see them styled differently and that they aren't really cropped, cropped length. Of course, if I was wearing a low-rise pant, yes, they're cropped length. 
but I'm not wearing a low rise pant and I never would. So it hits really just like right at the top of my jeans. So you don't see any belly. I mean, if I put my hands up, you're still barely seeing any waist. So I love this new top and the colors that it comes in. I also paired this in some of the photos with like the ampersand um, wide, like the 24, 24 seven pant. Cause those I struggle a little bit with what top to wear because again, they have a high waist on them and I don't want something really bulky tucked into it or over the top of it. So what do you wear? These are really good and I think that you guys are going to love them and the color selection is great. Thank you. So it comes in black. Kristen, you might have to help me with these names because okay. I don't know what they're called, but it comes in some really good colors. So black. Deep taupe. Deep taupe. That's a good name for that one. Heather Gray. Heather Gray. Also a good name choice. Sea green. See a great name for this one. This one's very bright. I love it. And green khaki. Green khaki. And that's also a good name for this. I struggled a little bit with wondering if it was a little bit green or not. So when you have it next to something green, you see a green to it. When we had it with the black, I didn't see so much green. I saw more of a taupey tone. But when I put it, I want, almost wondered about where you're pairing it with these ampersand 24-7 pants. And I was like, um, me. Like it's an odd, it pulls different greens where this almost looks a little bit more limey. So when you see that color, it depends what you pair it with, but with the black, it definitely looks more taupe. Then, I think it's important to know that green khaki in this sense is taken from the military khaki. We've seen this with some shoes of ours before where they like, do a play on khaki, but it really reads green. Yeah. And I think that's really where this is coming from. So don't be surprised when it looks like a sand dune. <laughs> <laughs> it does it have a little khaki. bit of like that green, a little bit of a greeny undertone to it, but it's not, I don't know, maybe like the military t-shirts that Jake used to have. Yeah. I'm wondering or if that, that was more that color than yeah. the tan they look. So anyways, uh, back to the fit on this in material. This fabric is fabric free. I don't know no where fabric in it. I think it's in the back of this one, so I can't see. So I am shown here in my true size small. The only thing that I will say is I am slightly broad shouldered where sometimes I feel like things don't always fit right here and that I find that I'm pulling them down or even I'll throw it on for a picture and realize I didn't adjust and get it in the right spot. So in this one, true to size in the small is nice because of the stretch and it gives me a good little fitted look to it. Um, however, in my shoulders, I'm like, I could do the medium and be okay with that extra room here for a little bit more width. So that way my shoulders don't start getting, having the seams do weird things um, because of that. But nice stretchy material. 58% cotton, 38% modal, 4% spandex. We love this material. We've had this um, in other items before and we love that modal, mod, modal, mod, everything sounds funny right now, um, material to it. Just a nice true neck on these. So really good little tee and I love the length of them. So I think that you guys are really going to find that you can pair these with a lot of different things. You can even tuck it in that little bit. Like if you don't want to risk seeing your waist yeah. and not have, you know, five inches of material to try to smooth and get inside your pants um, when it's something more fitted. Because I feel like I found myself really limiting how often I wore these pants because I didn't have the right array of tops to wear with them. Yeah, I think I have the crop top that I wear. Yeah, the one top, you know, and just felt like that was my option. So we love that. I'm just going to keep this color on with okay. that. I think I switched it. Okay. I had it different in the lineup, but for the sake of time, that hanger is broken. Man, you're breaking a lot of hangers today. Just that one. I mean, I didn't replace it, but I... Oh, I thought it was another one that just fell. No. Okay. So to show y'all how much we like these paired with the jumpsuits <coughs> um, that we were just talking about. Here's to give you a look if you missed that leather one. It paired with this little jumpsuit. 
Uh, no, Sandy, I didn't feel like that T was riding up. I held my hands up in the air and I didn't even feel like that brought it up or made it like sit in an odd spot. But I don't think so because they're so stretchy. They just kind of sit in place nicely and they don't feel like they're creeping. Not even like our reversible tanks. Sometimes those I feel like will start to roll up or creep up a little bit. This I don't feel like at all. Um, so this is the Not Afraid to Stay jumpsuit available in small through 3X. We have this in, oh, very similar in charcoal. Not the exact same one. It's actually a different brand, but very, very, very similar. And this is obviously very similar to that vegan leather one. Um, those front little pockets, relaxed and roomy fit. Drop rise. Is that what we're calling it? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, or it just has that loose and relaxed fit intended to fit low low rise on this one. Um, and just so cute and comfy. So this one is like a heathered maroon. Is that what color you call it? Or heathered yeah. rust maroon. I feel like it's a little bit more red to it than an orangey rust. Um, not adjustable straps. The charcoal one, it was adjustable. This one is not, uh, but it's very similar. I'm showing my true size small. Of course, these kind of have that like balloon shape to them that is intended. They're meant to be this roomy and comfy relaxed fit, but I love it over these, over these little tees too. And this was the color that I had originally picked. What did you say this one was? Deep taupe. Deep taupe. I love this color combo together. The black is great as well, but the deep taupe was a pretty one. Very neutral with that. Super cute with little sneakers. The Driana. This is fun with. This one doesn't doesn't stay up like the the leather one does. You're gonna have to French cuff that one. I don't know how to French cuff, so somebody will have to do it for me. What? You want to save by the bell? I, I, I did. What, what do you like? Something like this. Yeah, you fold it over and then you start rolling <coughs> up. Yeah, and now you roll. Yeah. Oh, see, you do know how. There we go. Look at you. <sighs> we talk about it with the boys' baseball pants sometimes, like, oh, I'm gonna have to have them French cuffed. There, perfect. Yeah, you could do that, just like Saved by the Bell. So, super cute, true to size. If you're in between sizes, you can go down with the middle size. But they're so, this is really fun because you can wear it simply with some flip flops, really cute with any sneaker. You can wear them with a fun little wedge, but they are, it's so comfy. And I even, I'm like, this is my vacation. This is my vacation get up because I would even throw this on over a swimsuit and be off for the day, you know, on an adventure mm -hmm. or whatever excursion we were gonna go do. This is my jam. So cute and comfy. All right. We that, haven't finished on time since like 2021. Last week we finished early. We were super fast. I mean, I have lots of things to say. About <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, That's it. That's it. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. All right. We are going to go ahead and get all these goodies loaded to the website. You can find them on our website or in our app in the featured collections new this week, or you can look at the new this month for the last few weeks if you've missed them, um, or the wear what you love is kind of all this season, just to give you a little breakdown of those where you can find all those goodies at. But we are going to get these loaded. I do have a few more photos that we have to update of ones that I took here. We are working on that. That's what kind of put us a little late getting started today. Um, is that we were running a few minutes behind with that. So a few more updates to photos there. But if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to message us or text us. We are here to help you. Um, we super appreciate you. Thank you for supporting our business, watching our lives, being present, commenting on our photos, all that fun stuff. We really, really appreciate you and thank you. So make sure to check out all these new goodies and we'll see you next week live. Christine's doing the whole thing at Swimsuit Day. I'm just kidding, just kidding. I take that back. I don't know what day that's going to be yet, but soon. Say it out loud now. <laughs> Maybe next week. All right. We'll see you soon. Happy shopping. Good night.